Okay. Awesome. All right. Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Checking In with the Pastor, where we have a conversation about what's going on in the community, as well as what's going on in our pastor's heart. So the purpose of this program is to let the members of the community know what's been happening locally and beyond in our community. Uh, also to have members feel connected to the pastor and to create a culture of love, honesty, and transparency. Yeah, so how are you doing today, just Pastor Justin? Um, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I just uh, got back from doing some shopping today. Um, my son, one of his friends, has a birthday party, so <laughs> going to take him there. How about you, Chucky? How are you doing? Good. Doing well. Um, this past week, I started going back into the office for my work. So I've been working mm -hmm. from home uh, this past year since the pandemic. And this week was the first week I went back into the office and um it was actually pretty exhausting because i've you know stayed home like for work for this whole past year and now i'm going back into the city again taking the train walking a lot so it was a very exhausting week but um it's nice at the same time to kind of be able to get back into the routine that i had so um it has its pros and cons i guess yeah yeah i think uh I'm sure a lot of people are experiencing similar, getting back to the, the routine and working and things like that. But yeah, it's definitely, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it can definitely help to have a little bit more focus in an office setting. Let's realize that myself. If I go go to the White House <coughs> and work in the pastor's office, I, I feel a lot more productive. <laughs> like I get a lot mm -hmm. more done. Just yeah. from, you know, my my home office, which is my bedroom. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's also nice seeing my coworkers again in person because, mm -hmm. like I said, um, because we were working from home this past year, like every communication was through Zoom calls. Right. So that's yeah. nice. Yeah. Nothing like meeting in person, that's for sure. Yeah. So, why don't we get started with the questions? Um, so first question, Pastor Justin, what are some highlights from the week? Yeah, um, okay, so yeah, highlights from the week. Um, yeah, uh, well, one highlight for me was um, me and my wife, we, we went to visit uh, one uh, second gen couple, kind of our 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 <laughs> elder couple, senpai couple, senpai couple. Um, they used to live in uh, the Belvedere around the Belvedere community. Um, the Chin Chin couple, so Fuyuki and Hank Chin, and um, yeah, we just actually we went there to because um, they they had some like baby stuff they wanted to give us, <laughs> but. Uh, we ended up spending like a couple hours there and talking about all kinds of things like um it's just kind of getting an understanding of what is on the the heart hearts and minds of kind of young couples who have kids um i mean they're kind of yeah quite a bit ahead of us their oldest is like 13 i think um but yeah i really kind of heard how how much they appreciate um, like youth ministry and Sunday school and like summer camps and just having like activities to, you know, plug their children into and give them this kind of educational environment and place where they can really make friends. And um, yeah, so it was, it was really like, it was educational. It was also just like fun. We just like, you know, we laughed, we talked about all kinds of things, just kind of catching up. Um, yeah, so that was one highlight um another one was yeah i had a i had somebody come to my office today um to kind of do like some counseling um and of course i'm not going to say who it is it's kind of confidential stuff but um but 
it kind of, it was my first time kind of really doing like any kind of counseling as a pastor, uh, since becoming a pastor. Um, and yeah, for me, that was a highlight just cause I, I realized like, that's actually one of the reasons why I wanted to become a pastor was to like, to guide people and to help people with their, their kind of spiritual life, but just like life in general, just like to be, be more of a happier and fulfilled person and, you know, under, understand, you know, God and help to sort out people's thoughts, I think. Um, Cause yeah, I think a lot of us, including myself, um, you know, we tend to keep things inside and um, when we're having like all kinds of thoughts going on in our head, it's, um, I think it's very easy to, yeah, to deal with like anxiety, depression, and feel a bit hopeless about things or just feel like confused because there's, you know, there's just so much going on in the, in the movement um, that, yeah, people are still trying to resolve and figure out for themselves and we're all in our own uh, place in the journey but um yeah i just i feel like we're not supposed to go through it alone and i was i was grateful for this person to be willing to you know come to me and talk to me about it and um yeah we ended up spending a good time together just lots of deep conversation, but yeah, again, just also a lot of kind of laughter and just kind of letting off steam and things like that. So it was, yeah, that was a really, really great. And, and I'm hoping that I'll, you know, have more of these kind of opportunities to have more of a personal touch experience with our brothers and sisters. Um, yeah, especially our, like our second generation. Um, yeah. And I was great because yeah, anyway, this person was a second gen and I just felt, I, I felt hopeful that they trusted me, um, even though it was actually the first time we ever talked one-on-one, -on -one, uh, me and this person, but um, yeah, they trusted me to kind of open up and to share what was really going on with them. And yeah, so I really appreciated that, that kind of trust. So yeah, that was some highlights for me. Um, yeah. How about you, Jackie? Any highlights for you this past week? Uh, highlights. I mean, hmm. I guess it had to do with the fact that I went back into the office and like I said before, getting back into the routine. Um, it's funny because while I was working from home, like I was barely getting any exercise. So it's nice to get back into the commuting life where I'm taking the train, doing a lot of walking, and getting a lot of that exercise that I missed out on. So that's definitely nice. Um, what else? Um, let's see, um, this is kind of a silly, silly highlight, but um, I got a free box of Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> Ooh, <nice. laughs> yeah, yeah, last year, last year, um, I was so lucky that I got this coupon where I I can get a free box of donuts every month for a year and I've been using that and then it's actually it actually ends this month so I was like oh I need to get my Krispy Kreme and you know I'm back in the city working so I was like oh why don't I go check it out so I got my last box <laughs> <laughs> yeah wow, what is that <laughs> it, it was it was really like out of the blue too because um i was visiting this Krispy cream that they made in times square and um because it was just brand new i think they were giving these out to out to like the customers at random so i was just so lucky that i got it wow. yeah yeah um i know um I think that's really it. Like, like I said, it's it's been a really exhausting week getting back into the routine of commuting to work and getting back into the office and working with everybody. But um, uh, I guess you could say it was a fulfilling week. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's our highlights. But what were some of the challenges that came up this past week, Pastor Justin? Hmm. Um, good 
question. Um, challenge, challenge, challenge. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know. I, it might've been, yeah. It's just kind of like a, an ongoing challenge I'd say, but it's, it's really just like having so much to do and not enough time to get it all done. Um, and <clears throat> yeah, especially like, I feel like, um, just even if I have like a plan for the week and I think, oh, I'm going to get this done and this done and this done and this done. Um, but then like, even just, you know, I start Monday starts or something, or even on Sunday and, um, you know, something will just pop up and there'll be like random requests and phone calls and kind of urgent things that I have to handle. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I was kind of struggling, like, oh, I really, like, I, for example, I really wanted to kind of dig, dive deep into like the budget of our community and kind of understand, um, yeah, understand what's going on, what are we spending money on? And, you know, if there's opportunities to, uh, you know, to cut costs, to save money or to, you know, potentially make, uh, make money, you know, fundraise, things like that. Um, but it's one of those things that are kind of like um, important, but not urgent. It's like in, in that box, uh, really important for like the long term. And um, I mean, kind of, <laughs> it's coming, it's coming close to becoming urgent. But um, yeah, things like that, you know, it's, it's easy to kind of push off because something more kind of urgent comes up. Um, yeah, so that was a challenge. Um, but one thing that did help was I ended up getting a coaching session from our president, <laughs> President Alkimi. Um, he has this, uh, this group, um, it's like a, it's, it's, well, it's an, it's a whole uh, online holy community for like young leaders. And, uh, once a week he'll, um, or every other week he'll, he'll do like a, a live coaching session with one of us. And yeah, I was lucky enough to, uh, get receive his coaching this week and I brought I brought this up and uh yeah the solution was was kind of simple but um yeah basically what I decided was to set aside like one day where that's like my my only focus and um and then I told like the rest of the staff and I just sent out an email and saying hey everybody I'm going to be focusing on this on this day so kind of like, it was like, you know, let me know if you need anything as far as budget wise, but it was also kind of a, a signal, like, you know, this is what I'm going to be working on. So <laughs> I won't be available for anything else, um, during that time. Um, so yeah, I, anyway, it's a simple solution, but I felt kind of relieved about that because now I have a, a clear next step of how I can work on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it can be it can be hard to kind of progress um, with your challenges without, I guess, like a clear goal in mind. Like mm -hmm. for me, um, uh, I have a lot of things going on in my life that I sometimes feel really overwhelmed and like really stressed with, but I try to like give myself daily goals so that I won't get lost in kind of like the stressful um, environment. So um, I can totally understand how helpful that could be. Mm, right. Yeah, that's, that's cool that you do that, though. I, I don't always do that. <laughs> it's something I got to do more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, that's super important. Mm -hmm. And giving yourself, like, even, like, writing it down on, like, post-it notes or, like, mm -hmm. writing it on your calendar, like, I think that'll be helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, mm -hmm. for sure. Google Calendar is, yeah, my, one of my saviors. Mm -hmm. Google everything for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, despite the challenges, what or who were you grateful for this past week? Um, yeah, um, definitely a lot of people uh, to be grateful for this past week. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really 
like almost everything that I do, I'm, I'm not doing by myself. I'm, I'm working with, with a team of people. Um, so you know, we've got so many like volunteer um, committees or teams that are set up now. Um, Sunday service committee, we met this yesterday and uh, the outreach, outreach team and um, Sunday school and just, you know, just so many people that are, are actually working towards making things happen in the community. Um, but yeah, one, one person I was also grateful for, um, actually I talked to uh, one of our, our, our uh, young, young fathers in the community, uh, Kester, today and uh, no, yesterday. And um, yeah, it was, it was uh, his first time talking to him since I came back from Japan. Um, but it was interesting because I had sent him a message on Facebook, just kind of like wanting to connect. And, and I, mean, I was particularly interested in talking about like Sunday school and raising kids and things like that. Um, but yeah, he, he, he didn't, he didn't look at the message for a while and I was kind of like, Oh, what's going on? Like, why, why isn't he, you know, why isn't he responding to me? Um, and, you know, I was kind of getting a little bit anxious as I do sometimes when not getting replies, but, um, but then, yeah, he, he did reply and he told me, you know, I, I don't check Facebook very much. And, um, he gave me, he gave me his phone number so that we could connect more. Um, and then we ended up talking for almost an hour uh, yesterday and, um, just kind of catching up, but also talking about, you know, ideas for how we can better, uh, raise, raise up the next generation of, yeah. I mean, we're really into like third generation and I mean, still second generation, but yeah. Um, yeah, so that was great. And he's, you know, he's got really great ideas and he's really good at making things happen. And, um, just knowing that he's, um, you know, he's willing to, contribute, even though like, you know, COVID's going on and, um, you know, not just him, but a lot of people, I haven't, I haven't actually seen them physically like around, but actually, you know, his, his heart's still there. And I mean, I think a lot of people, their heart is still with, you know, the community. Um, there's just, you know, trying to figure out ways that they can engage in a, you know, in a, in a safe way and a meaningful way. Um, so yeah, I was particularly grateful for that that conversation. I would say, yeah. Mm -hmm. How about you, Jackie? Who am I grateful for, or what am I grateful for? Um, yeah. let's see. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll dedicate this to my mom, mm -hmm. uh, only because she's. So, like I said this week I went back into work and I'm really bad at waking up in the morning and um, I'm not a morning person at all. So in order to combat that, my mom was always helpful and always offering throughout this week to make my lunches, um, drive me to the train station so I can catch my train and just kind of always being there for me to support me throughout my difficult times. and. Yeah, and like she knows how stressed I am with um, me having to balance all the things in my life right now. So she's always um, trying to be trying to be there to support me and offer words of wisdom, I guess you could say. So yeah, I'm grateful for my mom, grateful for my family. And yeah, I'll, I think that's about it. Awesome. Well. Wow. You're lucky to have a mom like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anything else that's been on your mind or anything you want to share with us? Um, yeah. Uh, well, I, I guess, yeah. Main thing is like, um, I feel like I'm definitely learning a lot about um, myself and about you know God and just what what it means to to be a pastor um, as I'm as I'm going along this journey um, and um, yeah 
kind of it's interesting like because you know with with as a pastor there's there's really no clear kind of job description uh of what what i'm supposed to be doing or how i'm supposed to be spending my time um but or, or like what you know why does a community even need a pastor <laughs> you know like uh, like all of these things i'm trying to like figure out like what like yeah um and uh yeah it's been interesting one, one thing i'm kind of learning is um one of my roles is just to have like just to be willing to engage in like uncomfortable conversations that um that are necessary conversations to be had um yeah i'm realizing like yeah every i mean there's a lot of just uncomfortable situations not, not in like a bad way sometimes it's like you know it's i mean even like counseling for me it's it's definitely not a comfortable you know conversation to you know go deep and to listen to people's um struggles and challenges um and to and then to feel like you know i'm kind of i'm in this position i'm supposed to be i mean really i'm supposed to be representing like you know god to this person you know um and that's that's a big that's a big responsibility that i don't you know i don't take lightly um but yeah there's definitely like it's not comfortable and it and there's you know all kinds of anxiety and nervousness that goes on goes along with that um but yeah i'm realizing that you know people people need to have somebody who's available to have those kinds of uncomfortable conversations with them um and you know to make things work i think the more willing we are to have uncomfortable conversations, the more we can actually um, succeed in life in, in whatever that is, if that's, you know, in our marriage, in our, in our families, in our career, or in our spiritual life, it's really about the uncomfortable conversations that um, my experience is that they really make the biggest difference. Um, so yeah, I, I feel I feel grateful that I, I have that opportunity. I mean, I don't always feel grateful in the moment because I'm like, <laughs> this is not comfortable. But, um, you know, looking back, I feel like this is going to be just incredible um, growth and training for, for my own spiritual life and my character. Um, but yeah, I, I want to encourage everyone, you know, to, to think about, you know, what are some conversations that, that we might be avoiding avoiding having um, that you know, somewhere inside of us, we we know that we we ought to have that conversation, or we ought to, we ought to talk to somebody about about it, um, and uh, just make myself available. That if you need somebody who who is willing to have that conversation, that um, yeah, I'm available, and that's part of what what I want to provide for the community is um, yeah, just being willing to engage with whatever is whatever is going on. You know, there's no nothing too, too crazy or too you know too embarrassing or too, you know, scary or shameful that is not worth talking about. Because, um, yeah, if we just keep it inside, I think um, these things tend to fester and and cause um, cause problems, you know, elsewhere. So, yeah, I guess that's that was the main thing that's I've been learning that, and I guess I wanted to share that with everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, um, I'm grateful that you're taking on this role to really help others through overcoming that uncomfortableness. Um, I can totally agree that, you know, sometimes in order to, in order to change, you really need to overcome those uncomfortable situations. Like you can't stay in a comfortable place for too long in order for positive change, you know? Mm -hmm. So absolutely agree with that but thank you so much for sharing with us pastor justin yeah no problem so to close off our program let's go into upcoming events and announcements
All right. So we are, or Belvedere is currently looking for a Sunday school director. Um, if you have a passion for raising up our young people and working together with awesome volunteers, this could be a great opportunity for you. If you are feeling called to serve a community in this way, please contact by Pastor Justin. And we are starting a new program, date night, starting Friday, October 1st. So we are launching a new way to contribute to God's providence called date night. All you have to do is go on a fun date with your spouse. We'll take care of the kids. And we hope this is a way to promote the blessing in investing in the most important relationship in our life, the one with our eternal spouse. So if you are interested, please fill out the form and this will this link will be sent through the newsletter so uh, look out for the newsletter so you can fill up the form uh, we are also looking for volunteers for child care and cooking so also contact pastor justin if you're interested in helping out up and coming kickoff starting october 9 will be up and coming will be having its first in-person kickoff on october 9th so let your your young adults, your middle school, high school kids know that up and coming and starting. Grizz, our White House cat needs a home. We are looking for a new home for Grizz. He is an aging but active cat with a prickly personality at times. I have experience with that. <laughs> he is currently ownerless and doesn't fit well with the purpose and function of the White House. He comes with an automatic feeding machine, litter box, and food. Unfortunately, if no one responds, we'll most likely have to find an animal shelter first for him. So if you're interested, please contact Taka, the White House manager. So checking in with the pastor. This is the program we've, we've been doing. So tune in every Friday night on Facebook Live or YouTube on or on our website to know what's going on in the community and in, in the mind and heart of our pastor, hosted by our very own me, Chiaki Agiwara. So find all this and more at belvederefamily.com and don't forget to sign up for our newsletter. All right, I think that's all of them. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, um, anything you wanna add, Pastor Justin? Um, yeah, well, I just want to, uh, really emphasize this, uh, this date night. It is, I think this is the first time we're announcing it to the community and first time we are trying to do something like this. Um, yeah. So, you know, I, I, I really feel like, um, you know, we talk about the blessing and we're trying to you know, spread the blessing and share the blessing with, you know, the entire, uh, 7.8 billion people in the world. Um, but what better way to promote the blessing than to, you know, invest in our own, in our own marriages, in our own relationships and to, you know, experience deeper, uh, levels of joy and happiness with our spouse. Um, I know this is not kind of conventional thinking of this is doing God's will is going on a date with your spouse. You know, we don't usually think that way. Um, but I, I really feel we need to start to um, shift our, our way of thinking about what it means to do God's will, what it means to um, advance God's providence. Um, you know, this is so incredibly crucial, um, not just to promote the blessing outward, but also within our own families. You know, it's going to be, you know, our kids watching, uh, you know, watching their parents going on, going out on dates and, and loving each other and being, you know, being romantic with each other and having fun together. And really that's going to be, um, I, I believe that's going to be the greatest testament to our kids. Um, it's not going to be necessarily, you know, the blessing workshops or the blessing education that they're going to get. Of course, all that stuff is important. We want to provide that, but the best way you can show your kids that the blessing is the pathway that, you want them to go to is to show them how how you're working on your blessing it doesn't need to be perfect none of our marriages are perfect um, but to show that you're actually investing your time your energy um, a little bit of money you know to go out to a nice restaurant or something um, 
or you can just have a picnic. You know, you can make it make it cheap if you want. Um, but you know, go out and you know talk to each other. Spend some one-on-one -on -one time with each other. Talk about how things are going and, and how you can, um, you know, make improvements in your relationship or or just do something fun where you're laughing together and you can kind of get away from the busyness of house and kids and all of that. Um, so yeah, I really want people to um, try to understand the value and the importance of this. And even if you haven't gone on a date for, I don't know how long, 10 or 20 years, it's never too late to start. Um, and we're providing childcare. I know for myself, honestly, I haven't gone on many dates since having a, having a kid. The hardest thing is, you know, finding childcare or, you know, sometimes it's not easy to ask parents-in-law or parents to look after the kids. Um, but yeah, we want to provide childcare. Um, we'll definitely have some people who have some experience with, with young kids, with toddlers. Um, so, you know, you can be at ease and they'll also, this will be a good opportunity for the kids to get together and to, you know, to play together, to, to make friends with one another as well. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to throw in an extra push for, for that one. Yes. Happy family start with happy couples. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Great way to spend quality time, which is one of the, the love languages. And I'm sure that's some of some of them. Um, I'm sure a lot of members can agree that that's one of their love languages. So this will be a great opportunity. Okay, well, is that all Pastor Justin? Um, yeah, well, okay, so the last thing is, um, yeah, just about this program, like, uh, we're kind of in the beginning phases of developing something, but we really want this to be um, a program that really connects and serves our community and, you know, continuing to increase the quality of the program. But also, um, I think one way to make this program even more engaging is for uh, the community members to, uh, you know, share your comments, share your questions, you know, I'm happy to answer any questions um, that you have uh, about the community, about uh, you know, ideas that I'm thinking about or ideas that I'm um, I'm hearing from others uh, about where we want to go with uh, in the future of the community. So, yeah, please, you know, send in your comments, your questions. Um, and uh, yeah, and then we're going to be shooting to make this a, a live program that's on a consistent time so that you can actually tune in live and even comment as you're watching. Um, and we could even, you know, answer your questions live or um, yeah, just acknowledge your comments live. So that's kind of where we want to head head to. Uh, we're not quite there yet, but I think we'll get there pretty soon. Um, yeah, I think that's it. That's about it for me. Awesome. All right, then. Well, thanks everyone for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments for us, please email me at chiakihagiwara at gmail.com. That's C-H-I-A-K-I. H A G I W A R A at gmail.com. We will answer questions and feature comments on our program for next week. So see you next week. All right. Thank you, Jackie. Thanks, everybody. See Thank you, you Pastor Justin. Bye. Bye. Bye.